Yo, what's going on, guys? Drew with Profit Monsters. Look where I am, baby. I'm in the shed, and uh, it's been crazy. So I'm going to uh, give it a couple minutes just to get some people in the chat because it uh, didn't really pop up. I didn't do it early enough for it to be um, thrown out there for people to see. But I'm really excited to talk to anybody that wants to hang out. I'm going to do some organizing right there. And uh, we are going to get some work done tonight. So let me pop on my phone and see if anybody can see it. It could be my signal. I might not have one here. So I'm testing all of that too. And I uh, want to see if it's showing that I'm live. Let's see. Let's see. Am I live? Am I live? All right, we are live. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video. I had it set on private because I'm a noob and I'm trying to get a signal and get everything set up in here. So, but yeah, man, hope everybody is doing good. Let me know if you're in the chat. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if uh, everything's worth of signal in here. So we'll see what happens. I'm getting ready to do some work in the shed and, uh, just wanted to pop on here. If anybody uh, wanted to hang out, we'll see what happens. So let's go, baby. I got some work to do. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get to work. I got a bunch of clothing. I got to go through a lot of this stuff, reorganize it, revamp it, make it look better. So um, I'm starting with this. I've got most of the clothing from my storage unit, my office all in one place now. So I'm going to go through it and we're going to see what happens. If you are here, let me know. I see one person so far. So hopefully it shows public. Hello. Trying to find out if I have signal. I can't tell if this is working or not, but we will see. Is there anybody out there? Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody there? Let me see. I'll post a comment in the chat to see if it's working. Doesn't support comments on private videos. It's, it's not private. It's public. It's saying on StreamYard that it's private. So I don't know what's going on. It should be public though. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to get this all figured out because I brought my mobile stuff into my shed, uh, but it's not letting me even comment or view. So let me see. I don't know if I can refresh this, if you can do that during the live stream. To anybody that's here, YouTube is having, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to refresh and just see if it works. Hopefully it doesn't kick me from the live. Will it kick me from the live? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's not showing It's not showing anybody in my uh, stream yard. It's showing like no viewers, but I see on my phone that there's some viewers. So I don't know what's going on. Hopefully things are working out, but I am in the shed. I don't know, maybe it's my signal. I can't see any comments on, sorry if I don't see your comment. I'm on a very shaky card table because I'm just trying to get set up in here. Just wanted to show you guys the shed. I'm so excited. So Joey's calling me. Joey, can you see me on the live? Sure. Literally, go. Can you see me? 
I have no idea. I don't know how to do this thing. So I'm probably in private chat. How do I go to public chat? Let me see. Private chat. I'm in comments, but it's not showing me any comments. So wow, not even reading our comments. How dare this guy? <laughs> I don't know why it's not showing me the comments on StreamYard. If I refresh it, will it mess up my live stream? No, you can back out. I'm not gonna all right. All right. All right. I'm going to do that and then let me know if I'm going to see if I can see the comments. I can see you on my phone for people that are commenting. I don't know why. All right. Bye, Joey. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> all right. Bye. All right, I'm going to leave and then come back in and hopefully the comments will work. So wait five seconds. Hello. Hello. But I still can't see comments. I don't know what is going on. I cannot see anything on, on here. I see people counting. Why are people counting? Let's go, Shed Boy! I am the Shed Boy. Let's go. I don't know why I can't see comments on StreamYard, but I can see them on, on YouTube. Hello, is this thing on? Hello? Earth to McFly. Hello, McFly. What are you doing in there, McFly? Come on, get it together. What's up, everybody? I can't see the comments other than on my phone. I'm trying to fix it. But if I can't get it to work, whatever. It's just saying. I don't even know if I can get you guys to see it. You can't see it from StreamYard. But old man tries to use phone live. That's yeah, basically what it is. It is. Look, I'm balding in my backyard. It's not letting me see any comments. That is so weird. Why can't I see my comments? Why can't I see comments? I want to be able to not have to look at my phone so I can say hi to everybody. Can you do some cartwheels and end by doing the floss? No, I, I can't floss. I have no rhythm. I'm the whitest white boy there is. But Tracy, if you can help me figure out why my, I would appreciate it. Anyway, I got to get some shelves for these bins. That's right, baby. I got all these bins all the way back here. So I got all this stuff. These are my bins. They're organized by, let me lift this up a little bit. Everything is kind of rigged right now for the setup. I got like big lights in the back, so it's going to like be bright on my face and stuff and pop up the chat. Okay, let me try that real quick. Let's see if this will work. StreamYard. Enter broadcast. Can I enter twice as myself? Oh, that's creepy. It's not gonna work. Woo, the mic is feeding back because of that. I'm not good at this stuff, okay, people? Yeah. Anyway, I gotta start working. If you have any questions about the shed, I'm looking at the comments on my phone. And uh, yeah, no, from YouTube. Oh, just pull it up from YouTube. All right. I see what you're saying here. Tracy, you're so smart. Why well, you got to be so smart? Can I see my own video? Maybe because I have like weak signal. So I don't know. Why is this not working? 
There we go. Mute it. And there's comments. Okay, I can I can at least see the comments now. There are three dots at the top of the chat. Pick pop out chat. Okay. Thanks, Tracy. Pulling it up now. There we go. Okay, that works. I can handle that. As long as you guys can see me, I can see the chat. I don't know if it shows. Let's go to live chat, baby. There we go. So there we go. I'm in the shed. Now I'm going to do some work. And if you have questions, this is not a camera. <laughs> I'm looking at my phone. If you have questions, let me know. So I am to finally get catch a live. Need an extender pop. I just uh, can't seem to figure out why StreamYard's not working in the shed. But that's okay because we're in the shed. And I'm pretty pumped. So I'm going to start organizing some inventory that was at my storage unit um, that was not very organized. So I'm going to be working on that tonight and uh, answering any questions, hanging out. It is a little glitchy. Hopefully the Wi Fi works. Maybe I can open my shed door. I'm opening my shed door to see if I get better signal. Hopefully that helps. All right. Is it glitching still? Is it glitching? Please don't glitch. Please don't glitch. Is it glitching? Let me know. Am I glitching? Can't hang tonight, but the shed looks freaking awesome. Thanks, Tim. You can get a wireless range extender. Yes, I plan on it. I just am like really in the early stages of uh, the shed, so I haven't done anything. I just decided to um, go live randomly until my laptop battery dies, and I've got a ghetto setup. But I just was too excited. I wanted to share it with you guys and uh, see what happens, so yeah. Okay, cool, everything should be working. Uh, someone said, any details how you organize or label your tubs? Yes, so the way that I normally do it is, which I got some stuff I gotta, but normally it's just labeled like this. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll try to get this in as much as possible but it's like labeled by letter. And then inside each letter, I have, um, I'm gonna pop this up just a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see me. And uh, let's go back to the stream yard here. So I put the bin and then I have a uh, Google Sheets where I have everything written in the Google Sheets and I'm working towards putting each item as a SKU so that uh, I can put that in the eBay listing and then I know exactly where it is. But at least in the Google Sheets, I know where the bin is. Tonight, I'm just focusing on organizing the bins that um, I had in my storage unit that I didn't have labeled. I'm gonna pull stuff out and I'm just gonna separate it for now by like pants, shirts, and sweaters. And then from there, I'll organize it by size. And then from there, I will add it to a bin with a letter and then I will add SKUs. So right now, it's a little bit uh, messy, but I just need to get caught up. And, and so there's a battle of bids on my sunglasses. When did you retro gaming Kings? When did you put the flooring down? I literally did it today. Um, earlier this afternoon. So slow bro gaming, loving the shed, man. Thank you. Billy picker. What's up? Do you have AC in there? No, but it's cold in here right now. It's like 60 something degrees in Florida and I'm freezing. I might put on another jacket. Let's see, what do I got? What do I got in here that I can put on? I got a, I got a vest. There we go. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I think I got something else in here I can use too. I got some North Face gloves. I'm feeling like Anvisa. Far North Thrift. 
It's like 68 degrees and I'm freezing. Thanks, Philly Picker. Yo, all right. Got gloves, got a vest, quilted vest. I'm ready to work. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab the bins um, from... I'm going to start with these bins because these ones were at my storage unit and I'm going to lay them out and then I'm just going to pull stuff out and uh, work on it from there. I've got some empty bins in the back, but I'm just going to organize it by category first and then we're going to see what happens. So people say, LOL, it's 60 degrees. So uh, Elmer Clark's Attic. Thank you. Hey, Drew, congrats on the new shed. Thank you, everybody that's in the chat. I can't see it on StreamYard for some reason, so I'm using my phone so that I can see my camera. I'm freezing and I'm being stupid, so, but I can't believe these North Face gloves didn't sell this winter. They're actually really nice. I got these at the bins for like 50 cents or however much they weigh. Uh, so if you see me looking right here, it's because I'm checking the comments on my phone. So I appreciate you guys working with me while I'm hanging out. Literally have two feet of snow in Pennsylvania. Two feet of snow? Looks cold. I'm freezing. So I got my shed door open, though, which is probably not helping with the weather. I'm hoping that it helps with my signal. If anything glitches, let me know, please. And now I got to get to work. All right, I'm closing the shed door. Hopefully... Hopefully it doesn't affect signal. If it does, let me know in the comments. I'm actually going to take off the gloves. That was more of a joke. It's not that cold. But hey, everybody in the chat. Josh, Harry Tornado, Wendy, saying thank you for the – or congrats on the shed. Thank you. All right. I just did this inside out. Okay. All right. So I'm not really sure as far as camera angles are concerned – how good this is going to be, but you're just going to kind of see me going through stuff and laying things out. And I'm going to be checking the comments. Um, it was cold yesterday and I was uh, wearing tank top. So, I mean, Hey, but yeah, man, I'm just really ex excited for the shed and forth to my storage unit. And uh, it's just going to be a really nice, nice upgrade for me. In my business, you know, check out this sweater though. This thing is dope. Somebody needs this. I posted it on Instagram, but look, it's a zebra. It's a zebra sweater and it goes all the way across the sleeve. Like this thing is just super cool. This is definitely a women's sweater, but cool. It's like, uh, I've never heard of this brand before, Tony Lambert. But pretty cool women's women's sweater. I'm surprised it hasn't sold yet. I mean, if that's not cool, I don't know what is. So, hey, I just got an offer on something. That's pretty cool. Yay, shed. Russell said, yay, shed. Yay for shed. Hopefully, there will be a lot more of this to come, and I'll have everything set up a lot better. My goal is from, you guys can't really tell, but where the bin start right here. It's about eight feet. I want to turn that into an office uh, so I can work in here and then everything else is going to be storage all the way back to 30 feet. So yeah, really excited. Uh, Tesla Picker, what's up, man? Dave, what's up? Nightly Picker, what's up? Jay Mars, Shed is Fuego. Thank you. Thrifty Reseller. Oh, I got that already. OBX Picker. Yeah, I need to get some insulation for sure. That is going to be my next phase. Fill the walls with everything. I think I am going to get some insulation. So, Slobra Gaming, nice. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'll definitely look into that stuff. So, for those of you guys just joining, I'm just kind of going through stuff that I have um, that's not labeled but listed. And I'm uh, organizing it better uh, with the rest of my bin system. And then I will label it. Um, 
label it tomorrow. It's uh, organized. So I'm doing like shirts, sweaters, jackets, women's clothing, men's clothing. And then I will uh, go back and um, label everything tomorrow. So I'm kind of just, this was back from when I, um, I did a big bulk buyout from somebody and I like listed everything and then I just put it back in bins and put it in my storage, storage unit expecting, expecting to get to it. Then I just figured we'd wait and it took about two months to uh, get the shed and it should have been two to four weeks. So I put some of this stuff on the back burner. Like for example, I've got a whole bin of pants right here and they're all listed but they're not organized. So what I want to do is, you know, is I've got another bin of pants. Um, where is that one? Right here. So when I get to the pants, I'm going to pull out that bin and this bin. This one's already inventoried. And like, so, yeah, I'm going to get to that. Um, and Visa, what's up? Online Christianpreneur, what's up? Loving what I do. What's up? Sorry if I miss anybody. I'm looking at my phone for the chat. So I'm trying to, I can't see it on StreamYard. I don't know why. And it's just easier for me to look on my phone right here as I'm organizing stuff. So yeah, if you have any questions about the shed, let me know. I will be happy to answer them for you. And uh, I'm going to get back to work. got some bigger thicker jackets right here and uh, I'm gonna fold them up a little nicer that's basically trash I don't know why that's in there women's we got a hoodie we got a women's jacket see this stuff should not be in here it should have been organized a little better a women's jacket so right now you guys can't see See, but I'm just laying everything down, like t-shirts, jackets, sweaters, and then I'm going to make it all real organized. Jenny from the block. No, I wish I had started with clear bins. It would have made it a lot easier, but I didn't. So now I'm using what I got for the size of my business right now. Are you putting in a couch? No, no couch. Um, I don't think there will be space once I get... Um, so like, <laughs> this is where I get to, uh, I get to some stuff that's like from the buyout that I did that I never listed. That's at the bottom of this bin. <laughs> it, this is like an old Daytona beach, they, Daytona beach shirt. It says, uh, party hard. And then it, it says, see him at date, see Dick at Daytona beach, see him party, see him puke. Be a dick, party hard. Like, I just, this stuff is crazy. Old vintage stuff. This, um, like an old, an old uh, motorcycle shirt, um, tank top, like a couple things like that. Um, so I got to get those listed, but it's just a couple of things. Some really old uh, J-Mar, like men's golf pants. I think these are from like the 60s or 70s. I don't know. They're new with tags. It's just a couple things that like ended up in a bin that shouldn't have been there. And then they didn't get listed, which is why I'm going through this now. Women's pants, like American Eagle or something like that. And then a sweatshirt. So bins down. Should, should get through this relatively quickly. Jennifer Hayes, what's up? Thank you. Nice shed. Um... Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm really excited. So this is going to be nice, a nice change for me. No more driving to my storage unit. Let me know if you can hear me okay audio-wise because I am pretty far away from my microphone and I'm on a card table. So uh, audio-wise, let me know if you can hear me good from back here or if I need to scoot up. Um, Joey, yeah, Joey, you saw your video. Go fire. Uh, all right. So just show you guys some of the stuff that like I got, you know, like this is listed, you know, Florida Gators, Victoria's Secret, pink. 
um, you know, puffer jacket, the big Ford on it. I'm really surprised I haven't sold this. There is some stuff that's just really caught me off guard that I thought would for sure sell, but um, like a men's, Ro men's Robert Graham button down shirt. What's that doing with a women's jacket? So it's time to get these bins. But again, it was a bulk buyout and I listed it and then I threw it in bins, put it in my storage unit. So um, some pretty cool stuff like this vintage sweater right here. It's just like a, a wolf night music. I don't know if this is anything specific or proprietary, but if you know what this is, that there's nothing on the back. It's just a wolf night music, but it's pretty cool. So this bulk buy that I did, I paid like a dollar per unit. So I got tons of stuff. Um, this is a, uh, like a, um, polo dress shirt. So like, you know, I'm organizing this stuff like that, just an Adidas jacket. If I see anything really cool that I think you guys would like, I'll show it to you. But, uh, what size is the puffer? It's a girl's medium or women's medium. But it's pretty big. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I can I could get the measurements off the listing for you. Joey, is Destiny a four? Is she a UF girl? I'll give it to her as a Christmas present. Cajun reseller, what's up? Ginger Marvin, what's up? Yeah, every time you share your Poshmark closet. That's exactly right. I'm like, why hasn't this stuff sold? This is good quality stuff. Built a, sm built a small studio for YouTube. That's what I'm planning on it. Uh, this is just a little Olympics USA jacket. Really nice thick jacket. St. James. This is like um, an expensive brand. Again, surprised it hasn't sold. Um, and then I got the vintage Scooby-Doo tee. Right here, the 1997 Scooby-Doo tee, pretty cool. I thought that I would have sold this a long time ago, but it is a size small. It's like a medium, I think, but it fits like a small. So um, it's kind of got the little bit of the wraparound. But again, this is exactly why I'm organizing this stuff so that I can get a little denim jacket. Oh man, it feels good just to get this stuff organized into matching bins and then I can skew it. So there shouldn't be all this stuff that's disorganized, but when you have as many active listings as I do, sometimes some stuff gets away from you unless I'm the only one. Who wants a Scooby snack? All right, we got some little Nike, just dry fit um, tank tops or whatever. Nothing crazy there. <clears throat> this is all listed inventory, just uh, not organized inventory. So now that I have the shed, I'm really excited. A little vintage St. John's Bay flannel button down shirt. And then a couple of just random stuff like this is a Tommy Bahama polo. Nothing really to see there. A little, I'm surprised this hasn't sold. This is like a Nike Pro, um, like one of those athletic. Nike Pro Combat. Uh, I thought this would have sold by now just because this stuff does tend to do pretty well for me. And it's dry fit. It's a nice color. But, you know, what can you do? Swamp Picker, what's up? Shoreline Sales. Gail, Small Town Picker, hey. We got uh, Grand Cypress Hunt Club. This is like um, derby or horse racing or something like that. I don't know. It's vintage. So on the jerseys, super sweat tag, pretty cool little tag. But like some of this stuff is like I know it'll sit for a while before it sells because it's very specific. Um, I should probably price some of that stuff lower than I do. Um, nice little college, crew neck, Seton Hall University. It's probably a smaller college or something like that. I don't know much about Seton or Seton Hall. But uh, it says 1856, so that must have been around for a while. Polo Ralph Lauren button-down shirt. We got 
little biker survivor. This was all again in a bulk buy that I did back at the beginning of a pan of the pandemic. You can go see that video when I bought someone's entire eBay store. There was some really good stuff and there's some not so good stuff. So some of that is still left. Can you see me? Am I frozen? Am I frozen? It looked like it froze on my end. So let me know if you can see me. It looks like I can't tell if it's just me standing there. Can you see me? Not frozen, but it's grainy. Oh, that sucks. It's grainy. I feel like when I'm close up, it's pretty clear, but then as I get farther back, it it's, this is a new webcam as well that uh, my wife bought for me. I guess you could say it was a Christmas present uh, and I was trying it out. So I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's not working very well as I get farther back. It could be my lighting too, because I'm using the big um, like industrial lights just so that I have light in here. I haven't even gotten, I haven't even gotten the, uh, see that is not good. Let's see, is that better? Yeah, I haven't even gotten the electrician out here yet to uh, run the cable for the power. So I'm like running an extension cord so that I can do work. That's so weird, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm glitchy. I literally am run a bougiest system you could have ever seen right now with a card table, extension cords, and my computer. So uh, appreciate you hanging out, but if it's glitchy, I don't blame you for leaving. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't stay either. But I gotta get this light fixed because now it's like right in my face. It could be messing messing up the view a little bit. I don't know. The lights are pretty pretty bad. Anyway. You're off the grid. Uh, Gail, yeah, I already put the flooring in earlier today. So I laid it down already. I got straight to work, not wasting any time. All right, we got some leather jackets here. This, is this the, the crazy bomber? Oh no. This is a really cool bomber jacket though. Like it's got the uh, the globe on the inside of the jacket there, like the whole map. That's pretty cool. I thought these vin vintage leather jackets would sell faster too. Um, I feel like I see other people selling them relatively quickly and for high dollar. And I don't even feel like I have mine priced that high. So. I'm going to have to refold all the leather jackets. Got some, I probably should just leave them in here, but I got to go through everything. And I also have to double check my listings and make sure that every item is listed because there's, I'm sure that there's probably a couple that I missed and I can go back and list those. So nice little Gander Mountain sweater, Henley, whatever. I ain't judging your janky setup. Just get work done. <laughs> Drew, I admire your work ethic. Thank you. Thank you, Gail. I appreciate it. Wendy, love your new shed. Going to be awesome. Martin, what's up, man? Sorry I didn't uh, catch you earlier if you've been here for a while. The uh, comments are not working on my stream yard. It's just about as bougie as that's. Tracy, do you think you could take this and get it to say, Tommy Bernard and take out this stitching and get someone to embroider it and say Bernard. I feel like that would be really funny. And then I want to send it to him. This is a really big sweater though. Um, and even, even the tag, like this is, this is such a bad bootleg of Tommy Hilfiger, but I got it the bins for like a dollar. Uh, so, but I would, I think this would be so funny if I could get the embroidery 
to say Tommy Bernard. I think that'd be really funny. <sighs> All right. What's next? This is a women's jacket. So that's going with the women's stuff. Got the University of Miami jacket. Pretty cool. That'll go over here. Got the faded Timberland. The Yukon Huskies. Spell out right down the middle. And then the back. Got the nice big Connecticut Huskies on the back. Pretty cool. I know that's listed because I've had offers on it, but they've been low. All right. We got this old, old Andrew Mark jacket. That's going there. Got a uh, Yamaha FZR vintage jacket. This thing's pretty cool. Like a little um, satin snap, whatever you call these, bomber jackets or whatever. That one's pretty cool. I can't believe I haven't sold this. This crazy, awesome Tampa Bay Buccaneers jacket. I thought for sure with Tom Brady going to the Bucks that I would have sold this jacket. The sleeve hit, the big uh, flag on the back. I thought for sure I would have sold it. But, um, yeah, still have not sold it. And it's on, it's on a discount right now on my eBay store, too. Like, I marked it down to try to sell it. So I guess I'll put that with those jackets. And then another leather jacket. That one's got to go over here. Mess around with the title. End listing, sell similar. I have end listing, sell similar. What's Orlando's NFL team? There is no Orlando NFL team. There's Jacksonville Jaguars, Tampa Bay Bucks, and Miami Dolphins. That's it. No Orlando, no Orlando NFL team. All right, one, two, three, four, five. I already got five bins empty and organized. This is great. This is not not clothing. It's actually a bin of hats, but um, I've got a ton of hats. If anybody likes to sell hats, I'm going to get down on my knee real quick. If anybody likes to sell hats, let me know. I got a ton. Um, and some of these are listed, but like Orlando City Lions. I don't even know what this is. The Skulls. The uh, Milwaukee Bucks. I can't believe this hasn't sold. Some of the new era hats, you know, Miami Hurricanes and stuff. And then I've got some other ones. Let's see. Like this one, Miami Heat. I feel like this is a really cool hat. Trying to get there because, again, the lighting is not that great because of my setup. So, um, but like, check this out. I got this crazy Star Trek hat. It's like a painter's hat. Space, the final frontier. New with tags from 1993. Right there, Universal. Crazy. Really cool hat. I don't even think... It won't even fit me. That's probably why I haven't sold it yet, because it's such a small hat. But I need to I need to decorate my shed with some stuff, too. But you got the, the ducks. And a whole slew of other hats. This is not even, like... This is not even a tenth of the hats that I have listed. Some of them are listed. All of these are listed, but like Dale Earnhardt, the swoosh. This is a vintage Adidas USA snapback, new with tags. Never been, never been worn by a human head. Harley Davidson, vintage Seattle Supersonics hat. Look at this one. This is crazy. And I still have not sold it yet. But that's the way reselling goes, right? So anyway, I got Roadrunner. Mimi. So this bin is going to go to the side for now because it's not anything that I need to deal with. 
Yeah, hats are easy to list. All of those hats are listed. Um, you don't see the Gator Puffer in my store. Uh, Wendy said, are you planning to put the bins on shelves? It's been hard. It has been hard moving the bins every time you sell something. Yeah, as of right now, I'm not going to put shelving in because, sorry, um, I'm not putting shelving in because I want to see how much space I have left. Um, I'm trying to fix this lighting, guys. Sorry. Uh, I want to see how much space I have left after I get everything in the uh, in the shed. And then from there, I'll build shelves. I'll probably put something like up on the rafters here so I can put um, more stuff up there, like smaller stuff. I can slide it in on like the flatter bins uh, or yeah, in the flatter bins. So we'll see what happens. So Victoria, yes. Crispy's Toys and Treasures. What's up? Thanks, guys, for joining. I'm just going through some inventory right now. You can't really see it. I guess I can show you now with the camera. But I'm, like, laying it all out right here by T-shirts, jackets, sweaters, leather jackets, women's clothing, because uh, I don't do a whole lot of women's clothing. And uh, then I'm going to reorganize bins right here. And, uh, yeah. So just hanging out, having some fun. And uh, Noel, what's up? Said, let's go, baby. Yeah, it's uh, the shed is 12 by 30. So 12 wide, 30 tall. Like, look how far back I can go. This is all the way back. So it's big and, and and there's still eight feet this way too, like from where I'm standing to the wall on this side, but I've got the card table set up with the camera. So yeah, bigger than my igloo. <laughs> if you change it up, you'll have to update all your listings for the location of your items, right? Um, so no, because everything's going to be here, I don't have to update the, the, um, the location of them because it'll all be here versus when it was at the uh, shed or the storage unit, I didn't have it organized. Um, I didn't have it organized by location. I had it organized by like bin system. So it was uh, just knocked over a stack of clothing. It was organized by like letters. So I knew bin D, bin A through H was at my house. And then the other bins were at my storage unit. So if it wasn't bin A through H, it was at the storage unit, for example. And that's how I knew. Um, and now that it's all here, I won't have to worry about that. Taylor Exchange, what's up? Um, mine was just delivered on Friday. Now I have to wait for some snow to be gone. Oh, man. I can't do the snow for sure. I definitely can't do the snow. I'm, I'm a wimp for cold. So, uh, yeah, loving the new digs. Thanks so much. I'm just getting some work done here. I'm actually going to pop off these bins and get to my pants bin right here. Uh, and then this whole stack I'm going to redo um, other than the lettered bins, but there's four bins that I need to redo, or three, no, four. One, two, three, four that I need to redo on this row. So we're gonna get to that now. How warm is it down there? You mean how cold is it? Right now it's, uh, right now it's a chilly 48. So, but it's beautiful outside. It's actually really nice. I have the door open right now because it feels good. So, um, yeah, 61 people in the chat. What's going on, guys? Thanks for hanging out. Thanks. Yeah, Amphisa, you live in an igloo, okay? Doesn't count. Oh, man, Apopka is, is colder than... Yeah, I'm in shorts, man. So... But I had, to, I had to rock like the, the holiday type sweater. So I got this at the bins and I just threw it on. Cellular data is turned off. What is going on with my phone?
All right, let's pop this back up. Actually, I'm going to move this bin. Oh, I got an offer on eBay. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see what the offer is. Um, a DVD combo unit that I had listed for $60 plus shipping. They offered me 50. Should I counter or accept? Let me know in the chat. Let me pull up the chat here. $50 offer. Nothing to see here. We popped out. I want to restore the chat. Yo! Oh no, that's YouTube. Never mind. I thought that was the stream yard. So I can see the chat from this YouTube, but I can't see it from there. That is so weird. All right. Joey with the 199 super chat. Thank you, dude. Counter Martin. I don't think I can counter. I don't think I can do it. I think I'm going to accept and make a sale. I need to make a sale during the live stream, baby. I'm going to accept this if I can get my camera to focus. All right, baby. Sold. Oh, I had my, I had my volume off. But anyway, there it is. Accepted the offer. Let's go, baby. $50 sale. And I just got a, an offer on a pair of skate shoes for $38, and I have them listed for $60. i am going to let that one cook for a little bit. Um, let's see. Actually, I need to check my, my Poshmark closet. Category, men's, shoes, athletic shoes. Actually, I'm going to do it by brand and see what I have them listed for. On Poshmark, fifty dollars on Poshmark, and they're forty-seven ninety-nine plus shipping on eBay. And I got a thirty-eight dollar offer. No thanks. Not worth it. So we're gonna take care of that real quick because I don't want to deal with that. That is, I'm already running a 20% off sale on that. So, but Joey, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you. Let's go, baby. Super chat. Let's go. There's my shed run for super chat. Thanks, Joey. Jeff, what's up? Wait, Swamp Picker, did you just send me an offer for those shoes? Was that you? The, the stream yard and my phone are a little off, but let me know if that was you. All right, I got to get to this next bin. All right, we got some, some men's jackets in this one, which I'm actually going to keep in here. I'm just going to add to it and then inventory it. Actually, I got to pull this out, this jacket right here, guys. Check it out. I sold this earlier today on Depop for 100 bucks, So that's pretty cool. Just a little Nike Sherpa-lined jacket. Nothing fancy. I got this at the bins. Um, a while ago, and it's just Sherpa lined. And then on the sleeve, one of the sleeves, there's like a little faint swoosh. I so if you guys aren't cross posting, you're missing out. So this was a great sale. I actually had to pull that out of the bin anyway. So I'm glad I'm doing this work to get it done. Um, so Crispy's Toys and Treasures said, what are you doing to get internet to the shed as of right now? Nothing. I'm just literally running off of, uh, uh, my wireless router from my house and that's it. So that's why if it may be a little grainy or something like that, or the uh, stream isn't that clear or it's glitching, 
It's because I'm running off of Wi-Fi from my house, which is probably about 100 feet, 100 yards. I don't know. It's far that way. So I'm just doing what I can. I wanted to show you guys the shed and uh, hang out if anybody wanted to hang out. So all right, here is the next pants bin. So now I can combine these two bins. Well, one is going to be women's pants and one will be men's pants from those two bins. And then this, this bin was inventoried originally as like Columbia jackets and stuff. Uh, but I've sold a lot of the Columbia jackets during the quarantine. So now I can add to this and I can re-inventory that. And then I've got this bin right here, which is, uh, oh no, that's, that's the t-shirts. I had the bin, the bin backwards. There we go. So, um, yeah, I actually, um, crispy, I actually plan to get an X, an X, what are they called? An extended router or whatever, a wireless router so that I can, uh, have it in here and have much better signal and run that wireless router to the one in my house or I don't know however that works. I'm not, I'm not a tech guy like that. So, you know, we'll see. Um, okay. I got this one right here. I got to get, so we've got, <sighs> oh, this is a, nope. That one's a good one. These ones are already inventory that I'm moving. Uh, they have SKUs and stuff, so I'm not touching those ones. But I have a couple that are just like, I had them labeled with jackets. I had them labeled like as jackets and sweaters, but I uh, want to narrow that down. So we're going to put, put this over here. Got a little Disney jacket, just a little basics Mickey zip up on the old Disney designs tag. That's a vintage tag right there. Nothing on the back. There's a lot of stuff in here that I thought I would have sold by now, but that's the way clothing goes. Clothing is not my favorite thing to resell, but it's the thing that I am obviously the least organized in as of right now in my business. Justin, the flipping accountant, new shed. What's up? That's right. I'm working in it right now, baby. Getting some work done. Got this Disney. This is pretty cool. Disney Tinkerbell crew neck sweatshirt on the Disney store tag. A little purple sweater for a girl, female, a lady. Got to try to keep up with the chat, guys. So if I if I uh, if I miss your comment, just put it in again because I'm trying to keep up with everything. Uh, Thrifty reseller said, "Where's all the shoes? They're still at my storage unit." That's my goal for tomorrow is to get that stuff moved over. So yeah, got a little Nike big swoosh crew neck sweat uh, sweater. Got a Marine sweater, Marine Corps. Dallas Cowboys windbreaker. That's going over here with the other ones. We've got a pink Victoria's Secret sweater. A marmot windbreaker. Some uh, polo button-down shirts. And then this, if you guys have never seen this, this is a bolo. The Ralph Lauren. Let me see if I can get this up to the camera. Move my finger here. Double R Ralph Lauren. This is a major bolo. These can sell for like over a hundred dollars in the right size and the night in the nice colors and stuff. This one's pretty simple. It's just the one stripe, but there are nicer ones out there that sell for a lot more. So be on the lookout for that tag if you've never heard of it. My YouTube channel. That's a new name for me. I am a full-time reseller. I just bought a shed for my reselling business and I just am organizing some of my inventory right now, uh, talking about reselling and selling on eBay. So yeah, thanks for hanging out.
It's like a rancher, Ralph Lauren. Yeah. James Cisco, what's up, brother? Appreciate you. Um, yeah, that one that one was a cool one. I got that at a garage sale for 50 cents. A little Budweiser piece. A little Ralph Lauren polo. This is a Woolrich jacket. Not like the one Anfisa found, but I'll take it. We got a uh, quilted quilted flannel lines jacket. Check out this vintage windbreaker. This is pretty cool. Dude, look at the colors on it. It's like a no-name brand from like the 90s, I guess, on your mark. But the colors are just crazy on it. It's a really cool vintage windbreaker. Pretty neat. This is stuff that I like to sell on Depop. And then a men's vintage flannel. This is uh, Montgomery Ward, like wool or whatever, button down. So pretty nice there. And uh, we got another empty bin. All right, so let's see. Those are good. Those are good. Those are all good. Those are all good. And I've got one bin of leather jackets that I need to check. And I think that's it. Everything else is pretty much ready to go. This is a bin of women's clothing, so I can condense that with the stuff that I've already separated. And, yeah, we're going to be good, good to go soon. 74 people in the chat watching me in my shed. Let's go, baby. Uh, are you going to put up a bunch of shelves? Looks like there's a ton of space. Um, yeah, I plan to do something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet just because I don't have, um, everything from my storage unit into the shed yet. So, um, yeah, I haven't exactly figured out where everything's going to go. That's why I wanted to get the clothing done so that I don't have to worry about this space and I can get it all stacked nicely so that tomorrow I bring all my storage unit stuff over and I'll have as much maximum optimal space as much as possible. So let's go, baby. We're making headway. Live from Minnesota. It's Thursday night. Definitely not live from Minnesota. Joey, I love this shed. Hit the thumbs up. Put a trampoline in it. I have a trampoline in my backyard for Asher. Are you going to insulate it? Yes. If not, you will have mold problems and humidity. Yes, I plan to insulate it. Hit that thumbs up button. The dab. Drew, get a disco ball. <laughs> Here, hold on. I can disco ball for you. This is going to be the most ghetto disco ball ever. Microphone disco ball, baby. Let's go. Anyway, that's the best I can do for disco ball. So use the rafters as monkey bars? I probably could. Let's see. Yeah, baby, I can use my shed as a gym. This is the best shed ever, guys. This shed is amazing. It's a gym. It's a business. It's a disco party. This is crazy. All right, let's get back to work. All right, so I'm going to push this down a little bit because I'm going to go go to the clothing. Right now I'm going to, for tonight, I'm just going to get everything back into bins that's organized. And then, like I said, tomorrow uh, I'm going to inventory and skew each bin. But right now I just want to get everything that I have back in bins 
um, and then I'll get labels and label it for tonight. And then it'll have letters and SKUs and go into my Google Sheets and all that. So let me get my phone. Check out the comments. <laughs> Breaks entire shed. Actually, you know what? This might help. Brains out, but I can move my microphone closer and maybe that will help with the sound quality because I'm not I'm not uh, listening to it. So move my microphone it. closer. Is that better? Is that better for you guys? And maybe that will help with the sound quality. There's so much room for activities. <laughs> my wife will never see me again. Yeah. Did you buy the shed outright? No. I paid I cash flowed this from my reselling business. So um, it's all from from profits from selling on eBay and Poshmark and Mercari and Depop. All cash, baby. No debt. I hate debt. And so cash for this, this puppy. All with my reselling business profits. All right, I got to reorganize this tote a little bit so I can get the rest of the women's clothing in here. I got some good stuff, but maybe I need to go through it with Anfisa and find out why it's not selling. I feel like I have good women's clothing, but clothing tends to take longer to sell than just about anything else. Ha Tim, you want to know how much the shed was? Or something. I mean, did you watch my video? It's garbage. Wow. All right. All the women's clothing is going in this tote right here. And then it'll get inventoried tomorrow. Well, hopefully tomorrow. Depends on if I get my whole storage unit moved over or not. If I get my whole storage unit moved over tomorrow, then this will all get inventory. If not, it'll be this weekend. Faux show. All right. Hopefully everything will fit in one tote. If not, I have another tote of women's clothing, but I'd prefer to keep that separate because that one's already got skews on it. I think I can manage to get it all in here. It should fit just perfectly. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So so the total for my shed um, was 8042 plus 43 It was like right around $8,600 out the door. That's uh, built custom to my order, which was I get to choose where the windows are. I paid for um, an upgrade for an extra um, an extra one and a half feet for the ceiling so that I could stack my bins higher. So I upgraded that. Paid extra for this door that, that is like the double door that opens instead of like the, the storage unit bay door. I paid extra to have this because I think that that's a nicer feature. Um, and then the side door, and it comes with the electrical. It comes with... Um, it was comes with the permits, the anchoring, the delivery, all of that for eighty six hundred. So, yeah, pretty excited about about this about this shed. So, yeah, I have no problem sharing that information. There would be no reason to hide it. But yeah, if you have any other questions about the shed or anything like that, please let me know in the comment section. Giancarlo, what's up, man? Thank you for stopping by. I don't know why I'm yelling. My microphone is right here. Kent, Kent Daigle, what's up? Yeah, almost 9K. It was about 8,600. So that was the out-the-door price. Man, look at that. See, this is going to get inventoried and skewed tomorrow, but this is essentially ugh, how I'll do it. I'll stack it all. Uh, the top one is hard to see because there's actually two, but I'll stack it all like that. 
and this is all like women's jackets and sweaters in here. And uh, then this will get inventory. So I'll, I'll put it to the side over here so that I know that everything needs to be inventoried is over here. And then once that's done, then I will move it over to, uh, to that side. Yo, Commonwealth Picker, Kevin, what's up, man? Trying to be like you, bro. There is a new shed in town. It's me, baby. I want to be part of the crew. I just want to be accepted. I want to be accepted. Is that so much to ask? Is that too much to ask, my friend? The heck is this? This jacket is definitely not listed yet. I know that for sure because it has a stain on it. I must have accidentally thrown it in here. So, all right. So this is Columbia Jackets and, okay. So now I'm going to stack it like this. You guys can see it too. So this is like this. And then since I have so many sweaters, um, there's not really any specific way that I'm going to inventory those right now. Normally I would do it by size as well, but since I don't have enough to do small, medium, large, and XL, and it would take up way too many bins, I'm just going to inventory them and then skew it um, in a tote. So I should be able to fill the rest of this and then one more uh, with these men's sweaters right here. And then I should, I should be good even, well, let me check the Columbia's first because I do have a couple, a couple of those. So I'll fill that. And then we'll see where we're at because I do have Columbia jackets in here and I can see this has pretty much an entire Columbia bin. There we go. Check the comments real quick. The Profit Monster Man Cave, baby. Lonnie is the OG. Everything is just cheap imitation. But they say imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. Although the bins look more like Justin than Lonnie. Yeah. You know, I did have some really funny ideas for titles for this for my uh, recent video that I put out yesterday about buying my shed and having it delivered. And uh, I was gonna I was gonna title it "This Shed Is Better Than Lonnie's." Uh, and that's it. And just try to clickbait the heck out of it. But I didn't want to do that because I, Lonnie doesn't know me that well. And so I sent him a DM on Instagram uh, like 30 minutes before I was going to upload it. And he didn't respond, which is I didn't give him not enough time to respond, really. Uh, but I just didn't do it because I didn't want to start drama or nothing like that. So. But I thought it would have been a funny, a funny clip or title. All right, we're almost done with these jackets, which is nice. I'm actually just going to finish the windbreakers off in this one since half of the Columbia jackets are windbreakers, and I don't have that many anyway. This is a really cool jacket. Oh, this is going to be perfect, guys. It's going to fit perfect. This Huskies jacket will go right on top. And it's going to, let's go. Look at that. Bam. The perfect bin. It was Joey's idea. Shout out Joey and Harry Tornado for the clickbait idea, even though I didn't follow through with it. All right. So now this bin's good. Sweet. All right, sweaters. Let's do some sweaters. There's like some plastic 
shards at the bottom of that one. So, all right, get these nice and folded up properly. Lester Jones, what's up? Yeah, this is a big shed. It's 12 by 30, but I needed it. My storage unit was 12 by 20, and I was outgrowing it. So I'm growing my business. I'm ready to kill 2021. Better watch out. I'm coming. 2021, I'm coming for you. I ain't playing no games. All right, that's a denim jacket. I don't think I want that one in there. Can we build a porch? Hey, let's go, Tracy. Come help me build it. I'll, I'll build a I'll build a porch. Actually, there were options for sheds with porches, but it really wasn't a wise investment for me. So I did. I opted out for the porch option. I opted out for the porch option. All right, man, this one's, this one's doing good with, with the sweaters, it's lots of space. Nice. All this stuff should be listed, but when I go to inventory it tomorrow or whatever day I get to that, if I get my whole storage unit delivered or not delivered, but moved in, then I will check all these listings too and make sure they're all listed, which is, of course, what you want to do. You don't want inventory just sitting there. What are you guys doing? Are you listing? Are you editing a YouTube video? Are you enjoying your Thursday night? Are you watching football? Let me know what you guys are doing. Uh, from debt to wealth, um, I am eventually going to put shelving in. I just have to make sure that I get everything moved in first. Um, I'm not 100% sure how much space I'm going to have once I get everything from my storage unit moved in. Uh, so I want to focus on that first. Man, I've only got one, two, three, four left, and I can probably fit two if I really squish it down, but let's see if we can fix it. I don't know if that one's listed. I don't know if that one's listed. I don't know if that one's listed. So these for sure. Oh, I can make it. I can make it. Maybe not. Two. I don't think these two are, this one should be listed. This is a super old listing. This has got to be like from my first bulk buyout ever. Gym Life Fitness sweater. Anybody ever heard of Gym Life Fitness? Me either. That's probably why it hasn't sold yet. But all right, I can deal with that and then I'll put this jacket with those bins. So bam, that's how it looks right there, guys. Let's see if I can get it to focus. But anyway. Oh, sorry if there's a loud noise. I just hit my mic. Forgive me. <coughs> yeah, I'm not really too sure what I want to do about shelving units yet. That's um, something I'm not worried about until I get everything moved in. Tracy said taking a bath. Someone said watching some guy. I organized a shed. $5. What are you offering $65 on, Anfisa? Fighting a battle to the death with a low baller. Nice. Just got done with 30 listings. Chasing threads. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Kevin, thanks for stopping by, man. Really appreciate it. Have a good night. Pro tip, use rolling metal shelves. Yes, 
That is a goal of mine for the future. Um, but I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm actually going to put this puffer under my knees because my knees are, are bothering me. So, all right, let's go to this next jacket. Let's see, once I condense, how many bins of, of items I've been able to condense and save. It'll be nice to see how much in, how much space I'm saving. And actually these, if I really wanted to, I could probably go through these too and condense even more. Um, but I just want to get everything moved in first um, tomorrow, and then I will focus on you know, maximizing space from stuff that is, uh, like these, these bins, these totes, once you sell something, you know, you have space, you have space in it now. So, you know, I definitely want to maximize that as much as possible at all times. So Frank said he's watching Thursday night football. Let's go baby. Infamous stacker said it's official. I'm buying a shed. And Pisa, she accepted your uh, counter offer. That's awesome. I countered 70. I won. Are you trying to buy something or are you selling something? All right. This one is not folded well. Actually, that one might not be listed. I'm going to move that pile. This is a really old listing, a vintage American Eagle jacket. <sighs> Some of this stuff, like I said, was from a bulk buy that I did where I bought an entire eBay store. So you can see that um, on my YouTube channel pretty far back in the channel. Um, so some of this stuff is like not great inventory, but I had to buy everything to get it. And I paid a dollar for it each item. So it was so cheap. I really couldn't say no. And I have this one jacket that was in a clear poly bag. So I'm going to pull that out. Fold it real nice. Those are leather jackets. So I'm going to try to fit those in another bin with leather, leather bombers that I have a whole bin of leather bomber jackets. And, uh, yeah, so nice. This is a good organized bin guys. And then condensing, making more space. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. These two are going to go over here because I got to list those. I don't know why those were in there. And then this bootleg Tommy Bahama, Tommy Bernard, Tommy Hilfiger jacket. I can't sell it on eBay because it's bootleg. Let's see. And what did you do? Sell all your Rogaine? No, I'm, I'm just bald. I just don't have a lot of hair, brother. Trying to sell some brand new Birkenstocks. She offered me 35, listed for 99. I told her 65 is the lowest I go. I won by scaring her off. Nice. It's the way to go. All right, where's that leather jacket been? Right here. Let's see if I can fit four or five leather jackets in this bin. I doubt it. Well, let's see. It's going to be tight. I don't think it will, but I'll get as many as I can in here. Probably one or two, honestly. I don't know why, but bomber jackets, leather jackets, just have some nice ones. I can't seem to find the buyers for them. Some real heavy duty, like high quality brands. But I know like the measurements and, and all that is very, very specific with, uh, with leather jackets and bombers. So well, three jackets and I'll re-inventory that tomorrow. That's nice. Um, I've got a camo jacket in here. Could probably take that out. Do I want to do that? I don't think so. I might be able to just, for now, scruff them on top, even though that's not the way I like to do it. This is a women's leather jacket, actually, so this will go in the women's leather, women's bin. 
down there. So I'm good. And I've got one more. Sweet. This should fit perfect. And even though I don't want to put it on top like that because I like to show the stack so it's easier to find, I'd rather condense. And once one of these cells, I'll be good. Nice. Here we go. I will have to re-inventory that, though. And then I've just got one bin of men's shirts. That's it. We're, we're almost done, guys. It's only been an hour and 20 minutes. This is awesome. Am I, uh, am I missing something in the chat? Whatever. You guys can make fun of me for being bald. I don't care. It is what it is. Uh, this bin of jackets is already organized. I can't fit anything else in there, really. So as of right now, one, two, three, four, five, nine, I've turned, I've turned nine bins into five bins. That's great progress. And then I just got to do the shirts, but actually the shirts I can probably fit in these bins by size because this is really all I have left is just this little stack. Um, and then some button downs uh, right there, which I can fit in another bin as well. So these I might organize by size and then put in the proper proper uh, size bin because some of my older bins on this side, I have them listed by size, like men's small, men's medium, men's large. And then I have those skewed uh, as, as well. Not in my eBay listing, though. That's something I'm working on as well. Uh, but um, let's see. That's a medium, medium. Large, yeah. These are just going to go in those size, those size bins for now because it's going to take up so little space. I don't want to make a whole other bin for this because it's so minimal. If it was like a whole stack, I'd do it, but um, this is that large. Uh, this meatloaf, meatloaf shirt is the tag is so faded. XL on the meatloaf. Anyone like meatloaf? Just a basic banty on the Winterland tag. Still kind of cool. So I got large. The Scooby was a small. Those are large. That's not listed. And then this is XL, but it's so shrunk. It's an old The Washington football team. Paper thin shirt. This is like from the 80s, I think. Paper thin. Single stitch all the way around. Tag XL. Let's see. She's back. I don't ever decline. Gail, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you stopping by. You did some great work for an hour and a half. Yeah, I mean, I'm just busting it out. I, I no reason not to. So these button downs, this is all I got left right now. So I'll just put these with the sizes for now. And uh, I'll show you guys how that is going down right now because I used to, this is extra large. Actually it's 2X, but it fits like an extra large. Um, when I first started my eBay business, I used to do it um, by size, just by size, and then I outgrew that. Um, and I used to have everything like in clear poly bags and all of that, um, but I just outgrew that strategy um, for doing everything by myself. So I had to just fold it and put it in bins versus um, the, the other inventory system, which didn't work for me anymore. Oh, my knees, my knees, XL and a Vineyard Vines large. So 
you guys, this is like so simple. Let me see if I can get it down a little more. So I got three, four piles. I got small, medium, large, XL, and then one 2X shirt. Those are just going to go in my bins up here that I have um, set up by size uh, from my older listings. So like I have extra large shirts, extra large sweaters, and I'll show you. So that's the leather bomber jacket. It's really cool. So like this bin right here is men's 2X, which I don't have a lot of. And I'm just going to put this one shirt in there. I only have one bin for men's 2X shirts because I don't find a lot of them and I don't sell a lot of them. So now that's done. And I'm actually going to put the letters here, the ones that are already skewed on this first stack, because I have one stack that's fully skewed right here, and then 2X XL sweaters. I'll reorganize this too, because of what I was saying earlier. I guess technically I have this bomber's jacket bin too for over here. Let me check the comments. I haven't looked in a while. Yeah, and FISA said, doubled my inventory in the past two months. Have you ever thought about having an employee? Yes, I want to get there really soon, um, but I really want to have my inventory like super, super taken care of. So like if I go on vacation and I have an employee, um, they'll be able to go exactly to where they need to go to find something that they sold. And uh, that's why I'm excited to have the shed too, so I can reorganize everything from my storage unit. So it's just super organized. Uh, and then I can hire somebody or I can pay somebody to run my eBay store for me while I'm on vacation or something like that for sure. So a lot of space. Jalisa, what's up? All right. So we got men's large shirts. So I got, I got plenty of space in this bin, but as you can hear the crinkling, some of my older listings that I've had for too long that I haven't sold, uh, used to be all wrapped wrapped in poly, clear poly bags like this. And then I just outgrew that system. Um, kind of, I guess you could say I outgrew it. Probably more just got lazy. But I was taking in so much inventory that I couldn't, I couldn't keep up with doing the clear poly bags. Um, and it was a waste. It was a waste. Of, I was finding it to be a waste of time, really. So... So yeah, men's large, men's large shirts, just like that. And I'll, I'll make sure that these are all organized now with the men's large shirts, men's XL, while I'm going through it. This is a, this is a women's bin, so I'll set that over there and put all the women's stuff together. This is a men's XL shirts bin, which I still have plenty of space for just a small stack. I mean, it's literally five shirts left from, from that. I mean, I'm, I was pretty organized for the most part. It really wasn't that bad. And that's why I think I got it done. So, so quickly already, if I wasn't YouTube live, I probably would have had this done in 30, 40 minutes. So, men's large. And then this is men's XL. We got sweaters. So I need to move that. What is this? Men's XL sweaters, then small sweaters. Here's the other XL shirts, which actually probably had more space than the last one. Medium shirts, so that will go on top of the large bin. And then my medium shirts is literally right here. Like another one, two, three, four, five, six shirts, that's it. Going into the medium bin. I got plenty, plenty of space in here. So I'm condensing all this so I don't have to take up any more bins. And as far as like that stuff goes, I probably won't skew it just because like I only have one tote of men's medium shirts. 
<coughs> I'm actually growing out of clothing. It looks like it looks like I'm not, but I really am. I'm not picking up anywhere near as much as I used to. Um, I've moved a lot more into video games and hard goods and those types of things. So, um, which is exciting for me. It's more profit. I've been making more money. And I like picking it up more. So I still sell a lot of clothing. I just don't pick it up as much as I used to. Like when I first started reselling, I was going to the bins like five, six times a week. And now I go to the bins maybe once every two or three weeks. So Pirate's Prayer, what's up? Shed life. Where did I get my bins? From Sam's Club. But a lot of these, if you go back, again, if you go back to my video um, on my YouTube channel from back, like, right before the quarantine hit, this was, like, March, March-ish, um, I bought an entire eBay store from my friends Penny and Connor, and when I did that, um, when I did that, I got, like, an extra 40 totes. It was, like, included in the deal. There was like so much clothing and video games and I sold a lot of it. So I had a lot of extra totes. All right. Small shirts. So now it's going to be like a tower, small, medium, large, extra large. Those will get stacked on top of that. I just got to make sure I don't have any more of the shirts, jackets, uh, women's clothing men's medium sweaters so we got the 2x we got the 2x and then we got the xl xl large have you beat up any printers today no i'm just not looking for them anymore <sighs> Sweaters, 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 jackets, jackets. Cool. All right, we're good, man. We're good, baby. All right, shirts should be good to go. All right, sweaters. So we got XL sweaters. Got a couple of bins of those. So this will probably be two stacks. XL, XL, that's a women's jacket skin, which I have that one left right here. Okay. All right, XL, XL. Large. This should be the large right here. And I think I have one more large.
Am I here? Can you see me? Am I back? <laughs> Shed life, baby. That's the way it goes. I don't know. Hopefully you can see me. Can you hear me? Trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Can you see me? Yay, I'm back. All right, my computer died. All right, let's get back to work. Shed life, baby. Oh, my carpet square. All right. Did I miss some questions? Let me know. Let me check. I'm back. I'm back, baby. Let's go. I don't quit. I don't stop. Not me, baby. All right, so we got some women's clothes, and then we got the other, my other bin of pants. So I have to organize these three bins of pants. I should be able to get it in a two. <coughs> and uh, yeah, so we got medium sweaters. I might be able to condense my two medium sweater bins. Let's see. Those are not, that is the wrong label. Oh no, 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 we're good. Okay, all right. Can I condense? Let's play a game called Will It Fit? Welcome to Will It Fit, I'm your host, Drew Prof Monsters. My computer may die, but we're gonna play this game. Yeah, I eventually want to get shelving. I've had like 20 people in the chat tell me about shelving. Eventually I want to get there, but right now I just want to get everything moved into my unit and see how much space I have and then build off of that for sure. But uh, this is where I'm at right now, my reselling business. I'm okay with where I'm at and uh, yeah. Eventually I do want to get some shelving though. That would be an awesome an awesome, awesome space and time saver, but these are not all gonna fit. I don't think I wanna condense because they're not all gonna fit, so I just gotta wait. It's really no big deal, it's only one bin. Hopefully I'll sell through some of this stuff and it will condense. That's the way it is. All right, so we got the medium, the medium. Oh, actually, I gotta put that in first. Okay, and then we got medium, medium. Small, ow, it's jam my finger. This leather jacket spin does not want to play nice. All right, I just made a whole nother row open for myself, which is awesome. That's a whole nother row of space that I just saved. Literally a full row. All right, let's do this. these pants. That's pretty much all I have left. So there are still 52 people hanging out in the chat. What's up, guys? Hey, Drew, get shelving. Thanks. 
And that was for your daily workout. That's a lot of stuff. You should try selling some of it. The DH looked good. Still another 45. What is that? I don't know. All right, time to do the paints, the jeans. All right. Anybody want some leather chaps? I got two pairs of leather chaps for sale. All right, so first order of business, separate these by men's and women's. This is men's men's pants right here, so I'm good on that. These two bins um, are not so organized by men's and women's, so I'm going to separate those real quick, and then we'll see what we can fit. Those are – are these women's Lee jeans? Uh, yes, women's Lee, Lee jeans. Okay, we got another pair of Lee jeans. We got a pair of girls' women's jean shorts. We got a pair of Carhartts. Got a pair of 501 button flies. I don't know why those haven't sold. And I got another pair of button button flies right here. So I'm just going to move them over because I know I want to put those together right now, the 501s. Oh, the shed looks good. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Jamie said, what size is the shed? It's a 12 by 30. 12 by 30. Harley Davidson pant jeans. Got the vintage Tommy Hilfiger. You guys want to see what I'm doing? I mean, I'm just going through bins of pants, but I'll tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm working with here. At least it's a little more exciting. But you can't see my face. That wasn't that great of a transition. Let's tilt this up just a little bit. The power of the webcam. All right. Men's pants. Levi's. A lot of this stuff I'm actually quite surprised has not sold yet. Again, hey, you got a lot of stuff. You should try selling it. That's the goal. This is like a, a denim vest, a women's denim vest. Shouldn't be in here, but it's going to stay in here for right now. And then I will skew it properly. These are Dickies. And then we got some windbreaker pants, which will go in last. Some more Carhartts, right? Yep. And then, oh wait, that's not... Let's see, Harley jeans. What are these? I think these are women's. Uh, no, these are Carhartts. I was right. There's the tag, the good old tag. Then we'll flip this. How far of a drive was it to my storage unit? About two minutes, three minutes. It wasn't really far. It was just annoying having to go back and forth. So it was relatively close. Women's women's jeans, men's jeans. This was from a bulk buyout that I did um, that I listed everything and I just put it back in the bin from the bulk buyout. Uh, so a lot of Miss Me jeans, um, which sell really well for me. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Miss Me, but it's a great bolo if you're not. Men's pants, men's pants, men's pants, women. This one's going to become the women's pants because it's mostly women's in here. So you just got to get the men's ones out and then we'll swap it over to men's and women's just like that. Nice totes. Thanks, Ben Flippin' Goods. Two dudes picking. What's up, guys? I know you were in here earlier. I forgot to say hi because my computer died. Some things I don't want to list on eBay, so I throw it on Facebook and I put it in my truck and maybe it'll sell before I get to Goodwill. What would you do with all those bins if it sold? Better to hang on to all of it. Bro, when did you sell your hair piece? What? 
When did I sell my hairpiece? I don't know what that means. I'm ugly and I'm proud. I'm ugly and I'm proud. I am ugly and I'm proud. All right, we got some more Miss Me jeans. I got some men's Tommy Hilfiger pants. We got some vintage men's acid wash Lee jeans. Those are cool. Some men's, well, boys, Yu-Gi-Oh shorts. Pretty cool. They got the Yu-Gi-Oh symbol down here. Surprised they haven't sold yet. Most of the stuff I will double check all the listings too as I'm skewing it and organizing it. We got some men's polo Ralph Lauren khaki shorts. Some women's Hollister jeans. Uh, some men's shorts true religion jeans. I got a couple pairs of women's true religion jeans up in here. All right. Women's. And these are men's. Okay, cool. That's it. All right, so let's throw the women's stuff back in here. I got a pair of, what is this? Oh, overalls. Okay. All right, so now all the women's jeans go back in here. This is this? Another pair of track pants, a really old listing. Sorry for being bald, everybody. I'm sorry for being bald. I got a bag of Star Wars figures today. Does anybody know a site where I can figure them out? Um, there's a group on Facebook called the Reselling Resource Center. Um, it's run by Dominic, the primetime treasure hunter. Uh, it's a really helpful place. You can post in there, and I'm sure someone will know what they are, uh, and they can probably help you. Um, Jamie, it depends on the size. Mine was 8,600. It's a 12 by 30 custom with windows and two doors. Um, and a couple other features that has electrical in it, which I haven't gotten installed yet because I just got the shed delivered yesterday. So I haven't gotten that far in the business yet, but we're working towards it. Um, but there are sheds are very reasonable for the investment, especially when you're making monthly payments for a storage unit. See how nice this looks? So nice. It's like kind of soothing. To do this. Um, so yeah, it just depends on what your needs are. But for me, I was outgrowing my storage unit and uh, I just wanted everything to be at home because I was tired of driving back and forth to my storage unit. Hey, there's my kitty. Come here, Gizmo. Come here. What's my kitty doing in here? Come here. He's a fraidy cat, so he might not come, but maybe Gizmo will come here. Let's see if I can get him to come here real quick. Come here, Gizmo. Come here. You guys are about to see my kitty. Come here. Gizmo. This cat's half outdoor, half indoor, probably won't come to me. What's the temperature in the shed? It's about 50 degrees right now. All right, I got my three bins of pants reorganized. My cat's a little concerned because he's never seen the shed before. All right, those are all organized. Women's pants, men's pants. That's it, baby. We're looking good. All right. Trying to answer all the questions in the chat. I'm sorry if I miss anything. He's like, this is my new house, yeah. Someone said, kitty and clothes, oh no. 
All right, so we are looking good, guys. This is pretty much all my clothing inventory. I have a little bit more. Let me pop this back up. I have a little bit more at the storage unit of stuff that needs to be listed, but I didn't bring that stuff home because I wanted to just do the stuff that I knew was listed and somewhat organized, at least from the way my, um, my system is set up. It's not a perfect system. I don't think any reseller has the perfect system. I also don't claim to be an expert in inventory organization. I don't claim to be an expert in how to have a shed. This is a new adventure for me. So I'm just kind of figuring things out as I go with the shed. I'm trying to condense and get as much space as possible. That's the goal right now um, to condense. Like, obviously this is great. Four totes. Just like that. My bubble wrap. Oh no! I had one more tote. What is in this? Oh, I just messed up my whole my whole system. Oh no, we're good. Perfect, baby. My other pen of bomber jackets. We're good. We're good, guys. I knew I wasn't missing anything. All right. All right, so now that I've got all these extra totes, slide these right in the front. For now, there goes my phone. It's probably getting kind of loud in here. So, yeah, guys. I think I'm pretty well organized. So, let's check the comments. I'm breathing a little heavy because it is kind of cold in here. Place your electric outlet in the right place. Yeah, Swamp Picker. So, um, I actually, it comes with two outlets and the way that I have my shed in my mind set up is where I'm sitting right now is going to be an office and I'm going to block it off from the rest of the unit uh, so I can do work in here uh, and do listings or lives or do my podcast and stuff like that. But the way that the shed was designed, there's one outlet behind the camera and then there's one right here on the wall. I'll show you guys the door. So that's the door I have it open right now just because it feels good. And then right here is the outlet for the electrical. And then there's it goes all the way up into the ceiling, which is really nice and handy. Again, I'm on a card table, so I'm just trying to show you guys with my webcam. I don't want it to be too shaky and mess anybody up. But yeah, so I have the electrical outlets placed pretty strategically for where the office is going to be because in the back where the big doors are, I don't have any need for power that way because I can just open that up and have natural lighting. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Happy to see your progress, Drew. Keep it in. Keep it up. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. What the heck? guess one of my neighbor's dogs is out or something. I'm going to close the door. All right, hopefully I don't lose signal, but I'm just closing the door. Prior is trying to catch his dog. Uh, um, but yeah, I'm at. Brings back memories of cat hair. No, my cat um, doesn't go around my inventory. It just the door was open and he happened to walk in. I don't let my animals near my inventory. 
inventory. That's why most of it's at the storage unit, and that's why the shed will be enclosed. Excited for you next year. Lots of growth to come. Thanks, Amfisa. Thoughts on heat during the winter? I'm going to get this shed insulated eventually. Um, like you can see, like right here, you know, where the wood is and stuff. I probably will insulate that, which won't really take away any square footage from the actual usable space because of the way it's built. The wood is in the way from me putting anything there, really. So I don't think that um, I'm going to have any issues there. I'm going to scoot this up a little closer. Hopefully it doesn't mess up. But uh, yeah, so I do plan on insulating. I do plan on eventually putting in shelves. I just got to kind of get everything sorted. Like right now, this will get moved to this side. And then this side will have like all my shoes on it, um, all the racks of shoes. And then next I'll have electronics. Um, I've got all my uh, tower racks in my storage unit where the tower racks uh, for my electronics go. So I'll get all that. And then I've got a big um, filing cabinet that I have for storage for like smaller stuff like sports equipment and mugs and things. I think I'm actually going to get rid of that. And I'm going to just use a different type of shelving system for those. And we'll see what happens, but I'm really excited for it. So am I losing signal? Dang, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, so sorry about that. I'm definitely going to get a wireless router out here. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me through this ghetto setup I got going on. But uh, yeah, either way, I um, the door is definitely um, like stopping the signal from coming in. It's crazy. So either way... Um, I'll definitely get all that set up by this weekend probably. And I'll have a YouTube video coming out about an update from putting in the flooring and moving everything from my storage unit to the shed tomorrow. That'll all be included in the next video update that I put out for the shed life. And I'm really excited about it. So yeah, it's crazy that I'm losing signal just from having the door closed. So um, I'm, I'm just going to put in here. Hopefully it, it uh, is working, but I'm trying to keep up with the chat on my phone, which is why I'm not looking at the camera a lot because for some reason on StreamYard, I can't see the comments. So um, I hope I didn't miss like a super chat or anything like that. If I did, I'm really sorry. Um, I can't see anything in the comments on StreamYard. So um, I know that my, my buddy Joey sent one earlier, but if I missed one and you sent it, please let me know. Um, I need a beard trim really bad. Like I'm starting to look like a, a hobo. Um, but anyway, sorry about that. Uh, if I missed anything like that, I really appreciate you guys, um, hanging out, motivating me to get this work done too. It's nice to have friends to talk to, uh, LA grit hustle. What's up? Great work. Motivational. What was the investment? So the investment on the shed was, uh, $8,600 and that was like all in delivered, anchored, uh, insured, all that kind of stuff. I got to put the windows in, customize the doors. I had the extra seven foot, uh, seven and a half foot tall um, walls added. These sheds are normally six feet tall and I'm 5'11". So having a seven and a half foot and then the vaulted makes it so much bigger. It was absolutely well worth. I think it was like a $300 upgrade uh, for the shed. So I think I would have been around like 8,200 to 8,000. If I didn't do the upgrades, like having the windows, um, I think I got four windows, two on this side and two behind me. Uh, cause this is the side that faces my house. Uh, and then this side faces my neighbor's fence. So I didn't need any windows on this side. So there was like a couple extra features. I mean, it's a long-term investment for me. So I wanted to have those, uh, but it probably would have been a little closer to eight grand, but the extras were well worth it in my opinion. So, um, Swamp picker add security. Yeah, possibly. It's definitely something I'm going to look into. The doors have locks on them and I have keys for those. So I can definitely at least lock it. All the windows lock. Um, 
but it's definitely something that I'm going to look into for sure because I'm sure people will get suspicious and want to know what's what's here. So uh, definitely, I appreciate the tip. I need to add a house number. Yeah, I was actually telling my wife like, what an investment is like if you had the backyard space buy like four of these units for like eight grand each. And this is huge. Like this is really big. You could cut this in half and somebody could live in it like a studio apartment, but, um, you know, get four of these and then rent them out, uh, you know, and make passive income. But I don't think it's legal like to have that kind of power going to these kinds of units on your property. So, um, but that would be, that would be some money right there. landlord baby that's right so yeah guys i think i'm done with with organizing for the night though i got all the, the clothing totes settled and in the places that they need to be i got like six six or eight totes like kind of condensed which is awesome um and yeah i'll get the rest of the stuff for my storage unit tomorrow and move everything over uh, hopefully a buddy's going to be helping me, but he hasn't confirmed yet. So maybe I'll be doing it by myself and that'll be a fun video for you guys to see. Um, but uh, Christopher Brawley said, very beautiful. Thank you. Kent said, you live in a shed. It's all good with the beard. Appreciate it. Uh, Airbnb. It. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I should turn this office area into a little Airbnb instead. That might not be a bad idea. Kook flips. Join in late, but congrats on the shed. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Really appreciate that. Um, Swamp Picker, I'm in Florida, baby, near Orlando. The lights are I'm trying to see which light is the one that's hitting my face. Whoa, that just made it really dark. But yeah, that's that's better. Makes me look more white, but it's because it's cold outside. So um yeah, hopefully that's better. Hopefully that's more clear. The lights are definitely not what the, the setup's going to be. This is the most ghetto rigged construction plug outlet extension cord setup you'll ever see. Um, Canada? I'm definitely not in Canada unless that's where Kent is. Uh, no, yeah, no snow, just hurricanes. Uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, it's so weird. It's showing like zero likes, zero dislikes um, on my phone and on the stream yard. So like I said, if anybody hit the thumbs up button for me or send a super chat, I missed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You guys are motivating me to make sure that my shed is as organized and as uh, awesome as possible. So uh, it can help you guys with your reselling journey. If you want a shed, hopefully my journey will help you or um, allow you to make decisions for your business. If it's something you can do, you definitely don't have to go this big. I've got about 1600 active listings on my eBay store right now. So obviously I have a lot of inventory. Um, so something to consider there. I have a lot of inventory and I plan on growing it and scaling it even more. So, you know, I wanted to make sure that when I bought a shed, I bought it with room for growth versus room to just fit what I have right now that didn't seem plausible for me. So I definitely wanted to upgrade, but if I'm missing something that you sent again, I'm sorry. I appreciate it. 77 likes. Cool. Thank you. 80 now. Yo, let's go baby. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. So 83 and Oh, let's go baby. I love this community. You guys are awesome. And I need to, uh, check the football score right now because I'm in the playoffs for fantasy football. I could win 500 bucks. So I need to see, uh Oh, my matchup already has points. I don't have anybody playing tonight. Keenan Allen, 1.5 Hunter Henry with 14. What a joke. All right. That's okay. Keenan Allen is only at one and a half points. So I'll take that. Oh, and he didn't play Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert's at 19 points. So I have a 40, I'm 49 to 51% chance of winning. So we'll see. Uh, but anyway, I think that's going to be it for tonight. 24, 24. Yeah. I think I'm, there's only like two minutes left in the game. So I might go catch that. 
Uh, if you guys have any questions about the shed, let me know now before I sign off. Again, I really appreciate everything. Um, Martin said 140, 140 listings. Hey, that's great. You got to do, you got to do with what you're, where you're at. I don't have a full-time job. I don't have a part-time job. This is my job. I also have my real estate license. So I do sell real estate, but I don't make YouTube videos about it or anything. Um, maybe with my next client, I will make a YouTube video about like how that process works. If that's something you guys would be interested in seeing, but uh, Swan Picker, thanks, man. Have a good night. I appreciate you stopping by, hanging out. I don't know why I can't see anything, but it is what it is. So uh, it's just not up. It's just not updating on my phone or anything. So, but anyway, thank you guys so much. If there's no other questions, I'm gonna sign off for the night. Lester Jones, where did you buy the shed? There is a shed company like literally 10 minutes down the road from me. If you go watch my last YouTube video that I just posted yesterday. Uh, it's called Empire Sheds, uh, which is like 10 minutes from my house, and you'll see it, but they deliver all over. Um, you can see the sign. You can see the building. You can see how it works in my YouTube video. You can check it out. It's in the first couple minutes of the video. A uh, really great company to work with. Super nice owner, um, family owned and operated. So Swamp Picker, 850 in the work store and 120 in the personal. Nice. Um, I'm just making sure I didn't miss any other questions. Martin said, I want to shed. Yeah, me too. I think everyone should have your energy. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Retro gaming Kings. I appreciate that. So, uh, anyway, sorry for the glitches and the, uh, signal not working and my computer dying. Uh, but we're here guys. We're in the shed, baby. I'm so stoked for the future of this business and my YouTube channel and share this journey with you guys. I've probably done like 18 outros at this point, but I just love hanging out with you guys and talking to you and uh, talking reselling and just chatting it up. So anyway, this is going to be it. Uh, I'll do a Joey Bada Bing uh, sign off since he's probably not here. Hyphy Gold, Topher, what's up, man? Thanks for hanging out. So this has been Drew with Profit Monsters, your local reseller. Uh, 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 and I'll catch you on the next one. Everybody go tell Joey to go watch my outro. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you all. In the words of Harry Tornado, love you so much. Bye.